대통께서 어, 미국 국내 기술이 아주 바쁘신 가운데 어, G20 대회에 참석하시고 또 어, 중국과의 정상회담을 비롯한 어, 여러 번의 어, 회담을 치르시고 곧바로 어, 우리 한국을 다시 방문해 주신 것에 대해서 한국 국민들과 함께 감사드립니다. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to visit Korea again after the uh, G20 summit, as well as your uh, summit meetings with various other uh, leaders, including China, uh, in spite of a plethora of issues that demand your attention both at home and abroad. On behalf of the Korean people, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you. Yesterday, uh, through uh, the tweet uh, that you had uh, sent, uh, you actually presented a big hope to everyone, in particular, a uh, big hope to the Korean people here. And when I was uh, looking at that tweet, I could really feel that the, the flower of peace was truly blossoming on the Korean Peninsula. Mr. President, if you could uh, meet uh, Chairman Kim at the military demarcation line and have a handshake with him, I believe that uh, that uh, picture in itself uh, would uh, represent a historic uh, event. And also, uh, this would be a, a significant milestone in terms of the peace process on the Korean Peninsula uh, that we are uh, in uh, the peace process that we are trying to achieve complete denuclearization and permanent peace. Uh, 오늘 대화의 중심은 미국과 북한 간의 대화가 중심이므로 대통령께서 김정은 위원장과 사이에 대화에 큰 진전을 주시고 또 좋은 결실을 거두시기를 바랍니다. So I will be of course accompanying you to the DMZ, but today the focus of the dialogue would be of course between you and Chairman Kim. So I do hope that you will be able to achieve great progress in the dialogue with Chairman Kim. Thank you. Well, I'd just like to thank President Moon for the beautiful evening last night. We celebrated our friendship and we celebrated uh, the new trade deal that we made very recently that went into effect on January 1st, uh, which is a great testament to the relationship of the United States and South Korea. Uh, I also want to thank your First Lady. She has a tremendous spirit and vitality and a tremendous love for your country. I said that to the President. First thing I said was how impressive the First Lady was and uh, she's a great woman. Great woman. So I just hope you Tell her that. Please. 네, 기다리 감사합니다. 어제 문 대통령께서 아주 아름다운 시간을 우리에게 주었습니다. 어제 만찬은 양국 간의 우정 그리고 또 새로 그 발효가 된 새로운 무역 협정을 어, 또 축하하는 것이었습니다. 어제 또 이런 관계는 한미의 관계를 보여주는 것입니다. 내가 문 대통령을 어떻게 만났을 때 제일 먼저 그 얘기했던 것이 영국인께 감사를 표하는 것이었습니다. 영국인께서는 아주 많은 그 한국에 대한 사랑과 또 아주 좋은 그런 힘을 가지고 계신 분입니다. 아주 훌륭한 여성이십니다. I just had a meeting with the business leaders of South Korea. These are not only business leaders here, they are business leaders throughout the world. They are among the greatest business people anywhere in the world. Uh, we went through a lot, Latte, Samsung, uh, so many that are, are so Hyundai, so many that are uh, so respected, and uh, we talked, and we had a fairly short meeting, unfortunately. I wish it could have been longer, but uh, these are very, very highly respected. No matter where you go in the world, they're among the greatest in the world, and you have them right here in South Korea.
한국은 전 세계에서 존경받는 그런 지역들을 바로 한국 이 자리에 어, 가지고 계십니다. I think I can say with great confidence that our relationship with South Korea has never been stronger or better. We have a uh, just a very good feeling. There's a good chemistry between the leaders of both countries and uh, Secretary Pompeo is here, Secretary of State, uh, Mike Bolton, John Bolton is here, and uh, John was uh, very instrumental in some of the things we did yesterday, some of the meetings we had. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you for that, and Mike, I want to thank you for that, and Mr. Ambassador Harry, uh, you love this country, and that's so evident, and that's a great thing. So thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. 나는 그 우리 한미 관계가 그 어느 때보다도 좋다라고 자신 있게 말씀드릴 수 있습니다. 이것은 한국 정상만 한국 양국의 정상 관계뿐만 아니라 우리 미국의 여러 지도자들도 마찬가지입니다. 여기 국무장관 그리고 또 볼튼 있고 계십니다. 아, 특히 볼튼께서는 아주 어제 여러 가지 회의에 있어서 아주 필수적인 그런 역할을 담당하셨습니다. 홍표 국무장관께도 감사드리고 또 여기 해외 대사가 계시는데 이 해외 대사는 한국 굉장히 사랑하는 그러한 사람. So as most of you know, I assume all of you know, otherwise I guess you wouldn't be doing what you do. We uh, left Japan yesterday. We were at the G20. Uh, Prime Minister Abe did a fantastic job. President Moon was there also. And uh, they really did a, a great job. And a lot of the leaders got together. I was with many leaders from different countries. Uh, great relationships with all. Uh, the uh, very interesting meeting, I think, was with China. And uh, we're moving along toward a uh, reciprocal, but a good trade deal, a fair trade deal. And we'll see where that goes. But we had a very, very good feelings with President Xi and myself. So we got here late last night, and uh, we've been working from that time forward. And I will say the uh, treatment that we've been given by President Moon and the First Lady have been, has been absolutely fantastic. And as you know, uh, a long planned visit to the DMZ, I'll be doing that in a little while. Uh, and I look forward to that. And there's a possibility that we'll be meeting Kim Jong, Jong Wong, and there's a possibility that uh, that uh, it's going to be very interesting. I, I don't know. They, they want to do it. Uh, Chairman Kim wants to do it. I'd like to do it. It's very complicated from the standpoint of logistics and security and lots of other reasons. Uh, but both teams are working very hard. And uh, South Korea is working also on trying to implement it. But I think it would be good. Kim Jong-un has been uh, somebody that uh, we've just gotten along with. Uh, when I first became president, uh, what was happening during our previous, the previous administration was very bad for South Korea and very bad for North Korea, frankly. There was a lot of bad things happening, and uh, it's changed very, very rapidly, and it's, it's very positive. There are a lot of positive things going on right now.
And just in finishing up, I think I can say with great conviction that uh, North Korea and South Korea are both in much better places right now than they were two and a half years ago when I became president. Uh, there was tremendous danger, tremendous danger. Uh, you people know it well. You know it better than I do, because you had to suffer through it for a long time. A lot of progress has been made. I watched some of the news, fake news. It's only fake news. And they said, well, what's been done? Well, it's like the difference between day and night. Uh, our ambassador, Harry, was saying on the way in that when you first got here, there were sirens going off and tests being made. And everybody was practicing for, obviously, a horrible event. And it was really scary. And he said, the difference is so great. So when I hear, you know, some of these fakers, some of these people that aren't honest reporters say, well, what has Trump done? We've done a lot. Uh, we're a lot safer today. And uh, South Korea is a lot safer. And North Korea is a lot safer. It's good for both. And it's really maybe just as important. It's good for the world. And so we're very proud of what we've done. And uh, I have plenty of time. And uh, we're in no rush. But it's a lot different than it was two and a half years ago. Uh, it's a difference like few people can even imagine. So it's an honor to have helped. Uh, it's a great country. I want to thank again President Moon. And uh, really, uh, we're very proud of all of the things we've done together, and uh, both on the military and peace, but also on trade and other things. The relationship has never been stronger. Thank you very much.